Hi Fudgies and welcome to a special mystery subscriber Bunches of Lunches. Before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Our first lunch idea was sent in by Mia. Mia is 12 years old and she is from the UK. For the main course today, Mia requested a chicken sandwich. But instead of using regular sandwich bread, I'm gonna make this on a Hawaiian roll instead. I'm just gonna cut my Hawaiian roll in half, add a little bit of Mayo. Next, I'm going to add some rotisserie chicken meat, followed by some nice fresh lettuce. And to keep the sandwich together, I'm going to add this oh yeah pick. This looks like a simple yet delicious Sammy. So I'm going to add this to our lunchbox and move on to the fruit. For her fruit today, Mia requested watermelon. So I'm gonna add a nice big scoop in here. And this time, I'm going to add a unicorn pick. Next up, I'm going to add Mia's vegetable choice, which is actually a combination of celery, carrots, and cucumber. And I went ahead and cut them all into these little sticks. These are going to fit perfectly in my lunchbox, and they're the perfect size to dip into my little ranch containers. I get asked all the time where I find these containers, and they're actually from a store called Daiso, which is like the Japanese dollar store. Now to go along with that, Mia also requested some goldfish, specifically the pretzel kind. Now believe it or not, the kids and I have never tried the pretzel goldfish, so I'm excited to give these a try. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite flavor of goldfish crackers are. There are so many. And of course, whenever I put goldfish in a lunch, I love to use my goldfish snack keeper. Now, unfortunately, we used to have three of these and I can only find two. I'm just not quite sure what happened to that third little fish. Hopefully we'll find it. Next up for Mia's special treat today, she chose a Fiber One brownie bar. Now these definitely have a lot of fiber in them and they are not too big on the calories, but most importantly, they taste really good. I know my kids are gonna love them. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in Mia's drink choice, which is going to be an apple juice pouch. Okay, it's time to see how the kids did today. What do you think, guys? I really love the sandwich. Yeah, what about you, Jack? Kind of like the sandwich. I like the inside better than the outside. Really? What about you, Lily? I think it was a sandwich yeah. and a watermelon. Yeah, she ate the whole sandwich. I am amazed, but I do see some vegetables left. What do you think of the goldfish pretzels? I really, really like, like them. them. Yeah, me too. I like kind of like them. Just kind of? Yeah. You like regular goldfish better? Mm -hmm. See you in the next lunch! Our next lunch idea was sent in by Addie. Addie is 11 years old and she is from Hershey, Pennsylvania, which I've actually been to Hershey, Pennsylvania before. For Addie's main course, she requested pigs in a blanket, but specifically the style that we make in the US which are a little bit different than what they make in the UK. I've actually made both kinds and they are both excellent. But for today, I'm using the All Beef Little Smokies and some Pillsbury Crescent dough. These pigs in a blanket couldn't be easier to make. In fact, they're a really good thing for the kids to make. All you have to do is cut up the dough and wrap it around the little hot dogs. I'm gonna pop them into the oven for just about 10 to 12 minutes. They're super fast. Now, while those are in the oven, I'll go ahead and add the fruit. Today, Addie chose raspberries, and these are really good raspberries. And you guys know I love adding picks to my fruit and veggies, so today I'm going with the mermaid one. This is a super fun and really cute way to pick up and eat the fruit. Next on Addie's list is some yellow bell peppers. These are mini sweet bell peppers, and they're really mild. So what I like to do is cut them open, remove the seeds, and then slice them into strips. Now Addie told me that her favorite way to eat these is with some ranch to dip in, and you guys know how we feel about ranch around here. Now to go along with this, I'm also gonna include Addie's favorite potato chips, which are the sour cream and onion flavor. And for her special treat, of course, I'm gonna throw in some Hershey chocolate. This is perfect for her because it's from her hometown. Now that the pigs in a blanket are done, I can go ahead and add them to the lunchbox. Now my kids like these served hot or at room temperature. They're good both ways. 
and usually I'll give them a little bit of ketchup on the side to dip them in as well. And then last but not least, of course I'm gonna throw in Addie's special drink choice, which was actually some cranberry Sprite, but unfortunately that's kind of hard to find when it's not Christmas time, so I'm gonna include the regular Sprite. Now when it comes to my kids, they're not really big fans of soda, so I'm gonna swap this out for some water for them. Lunch is over now, it's time to see how they did. I've got Mackenzie here with me, I've got Jackson, and I've got Lily. Can you guys tell me what your favorite part was? My favorite part was the pigs in the blanket. What about you, Jack? My favorite was the pigs in the blanket, too. And Lily, what do you like? My favorite was the um, Hushy and the, what was it called again? Raspberries. Oh, the raspberries. Yep, those are good. See you in the next lunch. Next up, I have a lunch idea sent in by Zaina. Zaina is 13 years old and is from Egypt. For Zaina's lunch, I'm gonna start by making the main course first, which is going to be a turkey sandwich. But this turkey sandwich is gonna have one sort of unexpected ingredient that my kids have never had before. For this sandwich, I'm gonna start with some classic white bread. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of mayo to both slices. Next, I'm gonna lay on the turkey. This is some oven roasted turkey. And I'm gonna add about three slices on here. Next up, I'm going to add the unexpected item, which is olives. We don't usually put olives in our turkey sandwich, but that actually sounds really good. All of my kids love olives, so I think that this is gonna be a good one. Now I'm going to get my top slice on there. I'll go ahead and pat it down just a little bit, and that's just gonna make it easier for when I use this heart-shaped sandwich cutter. This is one of my favorite sandwich cutters. It really just removes the crust and it cuts the sandwich in half. Now, as you can see, we have two little hearts for our sandwich and you can see all of the olives in there. I think that looks really good. These sandwich cutters are such an easy way to dress up any sandwich. Now moving on to the fruit, Zayna chose some fruit salad. So I'm basically just using up the fruit I have on hand and I'm gonna top it all off with one strawberry cut in half. Next, I'm gonna throw in a combination of cucumbers and carrots. And for both of these, I used my crinkle cutter because you know how I love to make the vegetables as appealing as I can. Now to go along with this, for Zayna, I'm also including some veggie sticks. These are made of potato, carrots, spinach. These are definitely a lunchtime favorite in my house too. And to keep them from getting crushed, I'm going to add them to this separate container. Then for the special treat today, Zayna chose something a little bit healthier. This is a kind bar in the maple pumpkin seed flavor. These bars are gluten-free, they have whole grains, not too much sugar, but they still taste really good. And then of course, I always end the lunch with the special drink. And and for this lunch, Zayna chose something a little bit different that we don't normally have, and that's grape juice. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. Okay, who should I start with first? Me. Jackson's first? Okay, what do you think, Jack? What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was the juice. The grape juice? Uh -huh. Yeah, I love grape juice. What about you, Lily? Are you my next? My favorite part was a sandwich. Yeah, you love olives, don't you? And what about you, Kenzie? My favorite was the veggie straws. Veggie straws? You guys did a really good job today. See you in the next lunch. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So our next lunch was sent in by Poppy. Poppy is 10 years old, and she's from Belfast, which is in Northern Ireland. Now, if you guys don't already know, I'm a huge fan of all things Irish. I used to be an Irish dancer. Now back to Poppy's lunch, the first thing she has on her list is some Mickey Mouse waffles, which I'm always excited to see because I love Mickey Mouse too. These waffles are adorable and I normally find them at Walmart. Once they're nice and crispy, I can add them to the lunch box. 
I think about two per child is good for us. Next on Poppy's list is strawberries. But instead of adding regular strawberries, I'm adding these freeze-dried strawberries. These are such a delicious treat. I get these ones from Trader Joe's. They don't have any added sugar. They're a little bit sweet, they're a little bit tart, and they're crunchy. The next thing Poppy chose for her lunch is cucumber. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to try to make something special. So today I'm gonna start by very thinly slicing my cucumber. Then I'm gonna lay out all of my slices and very carefully roll it all up. Now I've seen this idea on Pinterest and when I'm done it's supposed to look like a rose. But unfortunately it didn't really turn out how I thought it would. So I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna take a chunk of cucumber and I'm gonna scoop out the center to make sort of a cucumber cup. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna stick it down in there and then I'm adding the rest of the cucumber back inside with a couple pieces of carrot as well. Now if that doesn't make vegetables look more interesting, I don't know what does. Now to go along with this, I'm also adding some yogurt. I'm just gonna add the yogurt tubes because that's what I have on hand. And then of course we have this special treat today. Poppy listed tiny chocolate biscuits for her treat. So in the US we would call that a cookie. So I thought these would be perfect. These are the European style cookies. This box has a huge variety and they're all really cute. I'd have to say the ones with the musical note are probably my favorite. So I'm gonna give each kid two little cookies and I'm gonna let them pick which kind they wanna have. Next, I'm going to throw in a small container of strawberry jam. I know my kids will love being able to spread this on those Mickey waffles. And then I'm also including a little container of ranch because you know, we just have to have the ranch with cucumber. And lastly, for Poppy's drink today, she chose apple juice. We're done with lunch now, and here's what we ate. Now before I open up these boxes, I'm gonna guess what your favorite food was from today's lunch, and I'm gonna say it was the European cookies. Yes. Am I right? Was yes. that your favorite? Every, yes. Everybody liked those the best? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no? What was your favorite? I like the I like the cookies and I also like the juice too. Oh, the juice? Was it apple juice? Uh-huh. What about you, Lily? I also liked um, the waffles. Yeah, Mickey waffles are so fun. And what about you, Kenzie? My favorite was the cookies. The vegetables were good, but there were tons of them. Yeah, there was a lot of vegetables today. You can't blame me for trying. And see you later. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.